The public beta for iPadOS 17 is finally here. And naturally, I had to check out Apple Notes first. Me being me. Add links. Are those hyperlinks? Exciting times ahead of us. Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. PDF annotation is the most exciting update we couldn't wait to try in Apple Notes. We were hoping that it would mean adding an icon on the toolbar for adding PDFs, but I guess not. This is definitely not the setup we had in mind when we requested this feature in our iPadOS 16 wishlist. We requested that PDFs open as notebooks do, not as attachments. This is definitely not it. You have thumbnails at the top to quickly navigate through your pages, which helps. Apple brought all the markup features to this new setup. So, we can rotate our pages. Insert blank pages. Or insert complete documents between pages of our PDFs. Horizontal scrolling is a bit uncomfortable, especially when the pages of your PDF are portrait, like in this one. It helps when you zoom in, but it's not the same. You can view your PDFs as small, medium, or large. You can zoom between medium and large. For a person who always wanted to annotate PDFs away from markup, I see myself going back to use it. It feels more natural. That's because I prefer using the whole screen of my iPad dedicated to annotation with nothing above or below the document. However, the inline option might be handy for quick notes and mostly reading. What do you guys think? Is this a step in the right direction or should we just stick with markup? Linking ideas in a note-taking app is such an underrated feature amongst developers. This is why we're super excited that in iPadOS 17, we can link our Notes in Apple Notes. As well as link to other apps. And websites.
How awesome is that? Links can stand alone. Or be linked to other notes. You can link them to text in your notes. Not to sound ungrateful, but we look forward to linking different parts of the same notebook, at least linking to different headings in the same notebook. And it would be great if our notebooks had links so we can link them to other apps. That will be helpful. Naturally, after those two updates, we went to check our wish list to see if we're checking off anything this year. We didn't get vector ink, which is disappointing to see. But we got an additional drawing tool, the crayon, which they managed to differentiate from the pencil tool this time. Unlike in most apps, the two don't look the same at all, which is great. We hope that they updated it for all the apps so that at least the crayon in every Apple app you pick up is different from the pencil one. We also got a darker ruler tool. Which will take some getting used to. The lighter one looked better. How do you feel about the new roller tool in the app? We can also add stickers to our notes now. They go behind our handwriting. And have basic features to let you duplicate. We love that they mix with handwriting. You can also rotate and resize the stickers, which is awesome. We recently did a complete review of Apple Freeform, so be sure to check it out if you haven't already. And because of that, we really wanted to see what updates the app got because it really needs a lot of improvements. We were excited to try the improved drawing in Freeform. And we got even more excited when we saw that they had brought in the toolbar from Apple Notes. Not only do we have more writing tools, the handwriting experience on our boards has improved dramatically. We absolutely love it. We can now draw shapes that transform automatically using our writing tools. The fill tool also now draws perfect shapes. Which is wonderful. We also now have a highlighter tool. Can you believe we didn't have a highlighter tool before? Let's hope we'll get a highlighter for our text in the future. The notes I wrote using the previous pencil tool are now dim. So they're now unusable. Updates should never change existing nodes and we hope this is just a bug that they will fix and that it will not affect a lot of nodes that we already had in the app. This toolbar is now available for marking up PDFs. 
which we couldn't before. After the PDF inline feature in Apple Notes, we now really appreciate this markup window. Never thought I'd say that, but here we are. Connectors are brilliant. They help connect information in your notes faster without needing to reach out for the arrows. Your connectors are still customizable like any other arrow in the app, so you can change their thickness, color, type, and even their stroke type. These make our boards look and feel like proper whiteboards. The connectors are definitely our favorite feature in Apple Freeform. We also got some minor updates. The app is no longer freezing at 400%. We're happy to see that. It's easier to switch between templates now. There's no longer a million steps to get there, which is awesome. And we also have stickers. For both applications, for both Apple Notes and Freeform, we didn't get a lot of updates. So I guess this is all the developers worked on for the last 12 months. Let us know what you think about these updates for Apple Notes and Freeform in iPadOS 17. Did we miss anything? Did you discover something that we haven't? Do tell. We hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you. Fantastic human for watching. See you in the next video.